hey, this is a video on how to scrape Instagram emails completely for free. There's a lot of expensive ways to do it, but this way is simple, it's fast, it's easy, no app is needed, and I'll show you how to do it here. First, a little background story. So GoFitFluence was my website a while ago. What it was was an influencer database for the fitness industry, and we collected a bunch of Instagram fitness profiles, and we wanted to get all of their information we wanted to get their Instagram bio, their follower count, how many people they're following, their engagement rates, all of this stuff for agencies who want to do influencer marketing so they could contact these influencers and uh, set up a contract for their advertising. So I created this website, but the problem was that I was individually adding these influencers into the database. And in order to compete with some of the big players out there, I needed thousands and thousands of influencers. So doing it one by one, doing it by hand was not going to work. So I needed a way to scrape all of that information. And this is kind of where it all started. I hired a freelancer to start. The freelancer was from Bangladesh, was an expert in data extracting, data collecting, but it was very expensive. He was charging maybe 50 cents per lead. So as you can see, that quickly adds up if you get thousands and thousands of influencers. So that didn't work. My next thought was to do it automatically. So I hired a pro programmer and that programmer uh, was very inexpensive but he found one problem the one problem he ran into was he was not able to scrape the email address from the contact me section of the Instagram profile. So as you know, there's two ways that an influencer or anybody on Instagram can put their email address in, especially if you're a business account. The first way is you can use the contact us or contact me button, and then you put an email address in there. So only people using the app, and I'll show you now when you go to an Instagram profile on your desktop, there is no contact button. It just shows the basic profile. They want you to use the app. So in the app, there is a contact button. And when you click that button, it opens up your email provider from your smartphone. So if it's Gmail or iPhone, whatever it is, it opens up that email. The second way that someone can put their email address in their profile is in the bio section. So the developer wasn't able to use the API to scrape email addresses from the contact section, only from the bio section. And that's an issue because it's maybe, I'd say out of every 10, influencers nine of them have it in the contact section only one of them has it in the bio so there was a lot of influencers in my database that wasn't getting the correct email address their business email address and that's very important for an agency if an agency wants to contact the influencer instead of contract they're gonna need that email address so what I did was I, I did some research and I found this site instaprime.com and unfortunately their website shut down they still have their help center up but yeah their main website is Gonzo and that's unfortunate because that was a great product it cost for an unlimited amount of profile scraped it cost $90 a month US and that was great because how it worked was you would put in an Instagram profile that you wanted to scrape the information from their followers so for example if I wanted to do let's say Shopify stores e-commerce stores I chose the Shopify Instagram profile account they had around 500,000 subscribers and then it would just work day and night and it would scrape all the followers and it would scrape only the profiles with an email address, with a business email address and it used the API. Your account would get shut down every once in a while because Instagram knows that if you're using their API so frequently, it's probably a bot account. It's probably doing something against their terms of service so it would shut your account down. But if you just created multiple accounts and you just let them keep running, you'd be able to scrape all of the followers and in maybe eight days, I got 100,000 email addresses from the Shopify profile, which is arguably e-commerce businesses. So if I had an e-commerce business to business software or product to sell, this would be a perfect list to send those emails to. So unfortunately that shut down, but I just want to quickly show you how it looked when it spit out the data. So it got you everything you needed. This would have been perfect for the fitness database. It gave you the Instagram username. It gave you the business email address in the contact section. It gave you the bio 
show. It gave you their name of what they used on Instagram. It gave them a website if they had a linked website in their profile. It gave us the niche or the type of business they're in. It gave them their business address, their state, city, or country. And it just spit it out in a nice, easy to read Excel file. So that was perfect. That didn't work. Another option is Steve C. Data. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I quickly looked into this. I know it does work because I did test it. It doesn't spit out as neat of a file as the other site does, but this one is still active and up. The problem is it is very expensive. The more users you want to scrape, the more profiles you want to scrape, you're going to be spending a lot of money. It works based on usage credits and you need to run proxies in order to not get your account banned. It's very complicated stuff. It's a little out of my scope, so I'm not going to go into it here, but I just wanted to show you an option if you want to do some more research. And another option is something like this Chrome extension called Instalead from the Envato Market. It works kind of the same way I'm going to show you, so I don't think this is needed. The way I'm going to show you is completely free and it does the same thing. So if you want to just scrape the email addresses from the bio section, there's a very simple way to do that. Now, I don't know the quality quality of these email addresses that are coming from the bio section, I'm guessing they're not as effective, especially if you're going to run a cold email campaign when you're reaching out to these type of people. My guess is they're not as effective because real businesses are going to use the proper ways to share their email address. They're probably not going to put it in the bio. And my best guess is that the only emails that are in the bio are from businesses that use this feature before the new contact feature was introduced. I don't know how long the Instagram contact button has been used for, but I think that before it was used, putting your email address in the bio was the only way to do that. With all that said though, this is how it's done. So you're going to go to cse.google.com and you're going to create a custom search engine. So we'll start by clicking create a custom search engine in the top right corner. And I'll leave this website in the description below so you can quickly click on it. Sites to search, we're going to choose Instagram com and we can name that search engine Instagram it's going to auto populate that for you after that's created we're going to view it on the web so click the public URL in the top search bar here we're going to use a keyword to search Instagram.com so let's say you want to start sending software or products to coffee businesses tea businesses businesses like that and that keyword is going to search all the Instagram.com URLs and pull out a list of of businesses with that keyword in the title or in the bio or in a hashtag and we're also going to search for known email addresses because we can't guess the back part of the email the domain name but we can use businesses especially early businesses that use Gmail Hotmail live Yahoo AOL those type of addresses we can use those so let's start with the keyword we're gonna put this in quotes we're gonna put coffee and then we're gonna do another keyword and we're gonna do Gmail so what it's gonna do is this and Engine is going to search Instagram for all of that. And as you see, it's going to pull up a bunch of links with coffee as the keyword and Gmail. So this is probably businesses. And as you can see, they look like a bunch of online businesses that sell coffee. And what we can do is we can just copy all of this and paste it into this free email extractor. It's called emailx.discoveryvip.com. And I will leave a link to this website in the description. So we're going to paste that in hit enter a few times, go back, we're gonna go to the next page and we're gonna grab all of these from all 10 pages. Now I'll just grab a couple pages for you just to see how it's done. And this is another page we're going to do here. We're gonna take this and we're going to paste it in. And once you've done all 10 pages, we're going to choose the separator by new line. And then we're going to click extract and see here it removed all of the non email addresses. We can just take this, copy it and put it into a Google sheet. Going back, we can also do this with, let's say, a different email address. We'll do Yahoo instead. And as you'll see, it's the same thing. But this time it's going to show Yahoo email addresses. So we'll grab all of that, paste it into the email extractor and hit extract. There you go. I hope this helps and shows you how to get business email email addresses scraped off of Instagram, but those email addresses are only in the bio section of the profile.